for another video boys so I thought I would um, do a video um, today talking about Darlow or Dubrovka um, when Carl Darlow came back into the team and Dubrovka got injured I think we all kind of heart sank because Dubrovka has been for me he's been good I wouldn't say he's been great but he's been solid and he also brings a lot of leadership to that defence and I think with Carl Darlow we were all a bit concerned that he hasn't played for a long time last time he was a regular he wasn't very um, commanding and he his inactivity of being on the subs bench for quite a period obviously worried us all but I've been really I think we've all been really impressed with a his shot stopping I love it when people say oh the goalkeeper's a good shot stopper. I mean, that is their job. <laughs> so he is a he has been very good at shot stopping. Um, he's been very busy because we're not a very good team in terms of stopping the opposition playing, creating chances. But he has done really well um, in terms of that. I think the only goal really where I was a bit disappointed was Wolves, um, when I felt he should have done better on that goal. But he has done really well. I think for me. If Dubravka was to come back now, then if Dubravka is to come back now, then Darlo has to keep the shirt because you can't play that well and then get dropped. I think you look at Arsenal example, you had Leno Martinez. Martinez did nothing wrong, playing really, really well. They Arteta made the decision, oh I'm gonna bring back Leno. He's brought back Leno, and then what's happened? Leno started to make mistakes. Martinez wasn't happy, moved, and they've lost a great goal. And I think for Darlo and Dubravka, Dubravka needs to fight to get back in the team. Um, and as long as Darlo is doing nothing wrong, playing well, being solid, and I also feel he's improved at his commanding the area, which is so important as a goalie. I feel him he's when we were in the championship I didn't feel he commanded the area I mean I if, if I remember the championship year Matt Sells was um, in goal at the beginning and he was dreadful and then Darlow came in and he made a huge difference so perhaps Darlow has improved that watching Dubravka being a backup waiting his chance and he really deserves this chance I mean me personally I think you know, if he carried on playing at this level, then he's definitely got a chance to push for an England squad place. I mean, he turned down playing for Wales, because um, obviously he had this dream. As long as he kept doing that, but he needs to be consistent, and he needs to keep playing well, and he needs help from, we as a team need to do better to protect him. But um, yeah, I'd definitely love to hear your thoughts. Who would you go for, Darlow or Dubravka?